Okay, so now we're gonna look at the second method of how to value our inventory. That is called weighted average. And I'm still busy with my lemon business. So as per definition, weighted average means a weighted average cost is calculated based on the available stock on hand. So it's all about what is available in the business to be sold. And again, we're going to look at the same five questions. The number of items on hand at the end of the month, the value of the closing stock, cost of sales, gross profit, and then if they ask, the number of items missing. Okay, so I still have my opening stock at 10 Rand. I bought three lemons at 11. I bought four lemons at 10 Rand 50 and three lemon, lemons at 12 Rand. The first thing I need to do now is I need to calculate the total value, Rand amount of my lemons. That's 20 Rand, 33 Rand, 42 Rand, and 36 Rand. Together, the total value is 131 Rand. Then, how many lemons do I have over here? 12. So in order to work out weighted average, I need to take the total Rand amount of all the lemons available to be sold, which is 131 Rand, and I need to divide it with the 12 lemons. They are the lemons available to be sold. So 131 divided by 12 gives me 10 Rand 90. So now we take this away. I've got all my lemons over here. So now I don't care which ones are my opening stock and which ones are my closing stock. They are all valued at weighted average which is 10 rand 90. 10 rand 90 times the 12 lemons gives me 131 rand which was the total of all of them at the start again. So now when I sell, I sell 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, it doesn't matter which ones I sell because they are all the same and I've got 5 left. So first question again, if I started with 12 and I sold 7, how many are left? 5. Second question, what's the value of the, these 5? They are 5 lemons, the weighted average is 10 Rand 90, which means the total value of my stock on hand is 54 Rand 50, according to the weighted average method. Right, and the third method is called specific identification. So a general definition says that the cost price of each item sold is specifically identified as it appears on the purchase invoice. The purchase invoice displays the cost of each item, individual item bought. So we are still looking at the same five questions. But now to explain this, it's easier to look at an example involving computers because that's normally where you'll use specific identification. So I've got five HP computers at 5,000 Rand each. That will give me a total value of 25,000 Rand. Three MacBook Pros at 10,000, so that's 30,000. And then two Lenovo's at 7,000, so that's 14,000 Rand in total. And my number of uh, computers is 10, okay? So then, if I were to sell the following, I sell two HP computers, two Macs, and one Lenovo, the cost price will be linked to each of them, okay? And then I need to go and look at how much is left. In total, I sold five. So I sold two HPs, there are three left. I sold two Max. there's one left. I sold one Lenovo, there's also one left. So how does it look? Three HPs with a value of 5,000 each gives me 15,000 Rand in total. 
one Mac at 10,000 Rand gives me 10,000 Rand in total, and then one Lenovo at 7,000 Rand. If I were to add everything together, the total amount or the total number of computers left is and the total value of the computers will be 32,000 Rand.